Hi, Brian Ford, welcome back to school. Okay, let's have today unit one in your Macmillan language book. Once upon a time, in a faraway land, a young prince lived in a shining castle. Although he had everything his heart desired, the prince was spoiled. Selfish and unkind. One winter's night, an old beggar woman came to the castle and offered him a single rose in return for shelter from the bitter cold. Repulsed by her haggard appearance, the prince sneered at the gift and turned the old woman away. But she warned him not to be deceived by appearances, for beauty is found within. She had seen that there was no love in his heart, and as punishment she transformed him into a hideous beast and placed a powerful spell on the castle. All who lived there, if he could learn to love another. The difference between the movie that you watch it and the previous video. You watch the movie on TV or cinema, but when we see a show like the previous one, it's called a play, which is a story acted on a stage by some actors who perform characters. The time and the place of the play is called the setting. Okay. Before listening to our play, we have to know some new words. The first word is argue. Uh-huh, these two people are truly arguing. If people argue, they speak to each other in an angry way because they disagree. Don't argue me. You know I'm always right. Shine. To glow or give off light. The sun, the sun is shining brightly. Blow. A strong puff of air, and that what the wind can do. Strong wind is blowing the trees. Hold on. To catch tightly. Wind blows strongly in winter. Okay. New words. Burn. Producing light and heat, or doing harm by using fire. Homes were burning all over the village. Dry grass. It's the grass that grows without much water, so it's turned to be yellow, not green. You can see dry grass in a desert. So, what are the main characters of our play? We have the sun, the wind, the man, the cloud. These are the characters. For the setting, we have the first scene or the first part, which is in the sky, and the second part, which is in a valley. And the meaning of scene is a part of a play. Each play divided into many parts. So we have here two parts or two scenes. The first scene is in the sky, and the second scene is in a valley. What happens? The first here. The wind drink thinks that he is stronger than the sun. Can the wind make the man take off his coat? The sun thinks he is stronger than the wind. Can the, the sun make the man take off his coat? Okay, moving now to the play audio. Please listen carefully in order to answer the following question. Okay, the first question, which is why does the sun think it's stronger than the wind? The second question, the cloud wants to stop them arguing. What is his idea? Now, moving to the listening, listen carefully, please. Sitting in the sky. Characters, the sun, the wind, the cloud, the man. The sun and the wind often argued. The sun thought he was stronger than the wind. The wind thought he was stronger than the sun. One day, 
They meet in the sky, the little clouds emerge from them. Okay, the wind. I am very strong. I am stronger than the rain. I am stronger than the snow. I am stronger than you, the sun. I am very strong. I am stronger than the rain. I am stronger than the snow. I am stronger than you. The wind, no, you are not. The sun, yes I am. The wind, I can blow and blow. Yesterday I blow the trees and made them fall over. I blow the cloud and made them move. The sun, I made a fire. I can burn and burn. Yesterday I shone on the dry grass and it caught fire. I shone on the water in the river and it dried up. The cloud. You are always arguing. I have got an idea. We can see who is stronger. We can have a test. The wind. A test? Why do you mean? What do you mean? The cloud. There is a man walking in the valley. He is wearing a heavy coat. Let's see who can make the man take off his coat. The wind. I can do that. The sun, I can do that. The man is walking in the valley. The cloud tell the wind to try first. The wind, I'm going to blow and blow. I'm going to blow off the man coat. The wind blow and blow. The man, it's very hot. I must hold on to my coat. The wind, I must blow harder. The man stays holding on his coat. The wind blow and blow, but the man held on his coat. The wind. I'm very tired. I can't blow anymore. Now it was a sun turn. The sun. I'm going to use my fire and shine and shine. The man. It's getting hotter and hotter. The sun. Look, the man is getting hot. The man, I'm very hot. I must take off my coat. The sun, look, the man is taking off his coat. My fire made the man take off his coat. So, did you listen carefully? Let's try to focus on the comprehension here. First question, look back, find the correct answers. Like this example, the wind thought it was stronger than the... Excellent, the rain. 2. The sun burned the grass. Excellent. 3. The man was wearing a coat. Super. 4. When the wind blew, the man, excellent, held on to his coat. 5. When the sun shone, the man took off his coat. Okay. This is a discussion. You have to do it with your partner. You can choose your sister or brother and try to make the discussion with him or try to discuss this question after listening again to the play. Moving to the vocabulary. So we have here a word like yesterday. We can make or uh, choose three letters or many letters to make a word like yes. And day, stay, date. Wow. What about stronger? We can take the word strong. Stone, maybe. Which like equal the word rock. And tune. Now, moving to comprehension on your practice book. Page number two. This exercise is going to be homework. Please read again the whole play and try to answer the following questions. I'm sure you are, not, you are very happy with this. Moving now to page number three. The same what uh, we have done on the language book. On the word walking, we choose the word king or link which mean contact or join 
reading. We do the word huh? ring, excellent, or dear. Ring or dear. What about the word holding? Mm, we can do the word old and the word doing. What about the word arguing? We can take the word run or gun. Okay, here. Add letters to this word to make longer words. Ring can be bring and bringing. Wing can be blowing or drawing. Lean can be clean or leaning. Tick can be a new part now, which is proper nouns. First of all, we need to know what is a noun. The noun is a general name for a person okay for a person a place or a thing anything so again any noun or general noun are the names of a person place or a thing noun is a special name for a person or a place or a thing it's a special name for a person or a thing. So, this girl, this is a girl. A girl and this is an amusement park or fairland or wonderland. So, a girl went to the amusement park or went to amusement park. If we know that this girl called Sarah, so I know there is a specific girl or a special girl in my mind now, which is called Sarah. And this amusement park called Dream Park. So there is a specific place or a special place in my mind now. So a girl went to the amusement park, gonna be Sarah, which I know went to Dream Park. So Sarah here is a proper noun or a special noun. And Dream Park is a specific or a special place. So the name of this girl is Sarah, and the name of this amusement park is Dream Park. Okay. A noun is a naming word. A proper noun is a special naming word. It begins with a capital letter. So write the proper noun with the capital letters. Penny, Coat, Wednesday, Valley, Berlin. Vernal, words, word, grass, July, July. So, Benny is the name of a boy. So, gonna be Penny, Penny. Vernal, Vernal, which is also a name of a boy. Gonna be capital was B. Words, words, also proper noun. Wednesday and July, we have to mention, Brian Ford, that days of the week and months of the year has to be, have to be capital, days of the week and also months of the year. So Sunday has to be capitalized in the first, so in the beginning here, the first or the head of the word is going to be capital letter S, and another word like Friday, for example. F also has to be capital. What about January? Yes, the first letter has to be capitalized in any place in the sentence as they are proper nouns. April, May, June, August and all of these months has to be capitalized in the first letter. Have you ever wondered why we do we use adjectives? We use adjectives, Brian Ford, to add information for nouns. Another word, it describes a noun. Look at these adjectives. Adorable. Let's huh, describe this girl or the appearance here. Adorable. Beautiful. Glamorous. Magnificent. Old-fashioned. 
What about color? Orange, yellow, green, purple, white. Condition. Okay. Condition are uh, it's uh, your state or status. Alive, important, tender, sensitive means. Clever, better. So, beautiful bride. You have to mention that the adjective come before the noun. The noun here is bride and the adjective here is beautiful. Green balloon. Green balloon. Here we have the word green, which is the adjective, color adjective. And after this, we have the noun balloon. Clever girl. Clever came first and the word the word the girl came second. What is the difference between the adjectives and the adverbs? We use the adverb to describe a verb. So we use the adverb to describe a verb. We put ly to the e adjective to form an adverb. Slow gonna be slowly. The car, huh? This is a slow car. The car goes slowly. Susan runs quickly. Susan runs quickly. The wind blows strongly. The wind blows strongly. So the action here, I'm, I'm here describing the action or the verb. How does the car go? The car goes slowly. How does Susan run? Susan runs quickly. How does the wind blow? The wind blows strongly. Okay. Now moving to language building on page number 11. Remember again a noun is a naming word. Proper noun is a special uh, naming word. Write the adjective here. The orange sun come up in the, in the morning. The long grass moved in the wind. Where is the adjective here? Excellent. Long. I can see a dark cloud. Dark. The man is wearing heavy coat. Heavy. A cloud covered the hot sun. Hot. Remember adverb tell us more about verbs. They tell us how something was done. I must blow harder. Use these adverb in sentence right in your copybook. So please, Brian Ford, try to write three sentences about these ad uh, adverbs. Moving to the practice book on page number four. Okay. The first question here. You have to underline the noun and circle the proper noun. Then you have to write it here. First here you have to write five nouns. Okay. The first noun here is water. Yes, which is a general noun. Professor. Coat. It's not a proper noun. It's a general noun. For the proper nouns, we have the word telly. Ink spot, January, and Friday. And I tell you before that months of the year and weeks, uh, days of the week, uh, usually capitalized. Sort out these color adjectives. So you have to make this as you have to do this as a homework. Number five: write an adjective to describe each of these words. The first word here, which is flower, a noun. So I use pretty flower. Number two, snow. I will put here white snow. Three, meal. Okay, like dinner, lunch, or breakfast. So I will use here the luscious meal. The luscious mean yummy or tasty. So you have to do the rest of the exercise by yourselves. It's really easy for you, I guess. A new thing, which is the past simple tense. Past mean that 
Any action happened before now. Any action happened before now. This is the past, this is the present, and this is the future. Okay. First of all, we have to look at this picture and try to find out the difference. This picture, this one. Can you guess now the difference? Yeah, there is a huge difference here between the two pictures. This one is very old school, but this one is modern school. It's really clear that this school from the past time and this is for our times or it's really modern and it's not in the future, but it's from our present time. The picture here, which related to clothes. Oh, look at these dresses. What about this? So, women used to wear like this in, um, in a specific period in the past. And these dresses are actually from the past, but I think they are very beautiful. About these costumes or fashion or clothes, they are very modern and this related to our days. Another picture. What about cities? Look at this city and this one. So this is really old one. This is a vast city and this is the modern one. Can you see the carriage here? There is no even cars. So, the usage of the past simple tense is to talk about action that is started and ended in the past. What are the key words? Yesterday, ago, last week, last year, last month, in the past. So, how can we make or form the verb in the, in the past simple tense? In English, verbs divided into two groups, regular and irregular. If it's regular, we can put D. If a verb ends with E, if a verb ends with E, like the verb here, move, ends with E, so I'm going to put just D. Save ends with E, so D. Like ends with E also, so I will put D. If it's not ending with E or Y, I can put ED in the verb wash, link, play. But focus here that before letter Y we have a vowel, which can protect letter Y and save it. So we want to cancel letter Y here. But if we have here the verb like try, which ends with Y, and before we have a consonant, which is letter I, so we will cancel letter Y and put I, E, D. Stud D. Supposed to be here Y. But before Y here we have a consonant, so the consonant will cancel letter Y and put I. So going to be studded, putting I, E, D. Carry. The same here also. I was... Y. So before Y we have R, which is consonant, not a vowel. So we will omit letter Y and put I, E, D. Okay, irregular verbs changed completely in the past symbol. Say, sit, make, made. She said bellow. We make a kite. Go went. We went to the store. They took. They took a picture. Come came. My son came home. See so. She saw a movie. How can we negate a sentence in the past? Simply we add didn't plus the base form or the infinitive form, the root of the verb. Remember all the regular and irregular verbs follow this structure. Ali walked to school yesterday. We have to put here not. Gonna be Ali didn't walk to school yesterday. Another one. They saw a lion in the zoo yesterday. 
put here not didn't see a lion in the zoo yesterday so we learned how to make affirmative sentences and negative as well let's learn how to make a question to make a yes no question we need to use dead subject plus the base form dead subject verb and base form you saw me yesterday, so gonna be did you see me yesterday? We will change here the sentence of the verb from past to infinitive. Nick took his medicine. Did Nick took his medicine? She gave you the book, huh? Excellent. Did she give you the book? Otherwise, again, positive, negative, and question. He met his wife six years ago. Make negative. He didn't meet her. Did he feel sad yesterday? Uh huh. I graduate from the university. Excellent. I didn't graduate from the university. Did, they, did you graduate from the university? They watched a movie yesterday. They didn't watch a movie. Did they watch a movie? So you have to revise this again, please, to remember all the cases of the simple past tense or past simple tense. Moving now to your language book on page number 12. Focus with me, please. Yesterday the wind blew the trees. It made the trees fall over. Yesterday the sun shone in the grass. The grass caught fire. Write the past tense of these verb. Have gonna be. Hmm. Uh, hold gonna be held. Blow gonna be blow. Have had. Shine shown. See so. What about take? Talk. Out. burn burnt ask and answer okay you have to do this with your friend at home or you can play this game with your mother okay are these sentences true or false circle okay exercise number three gonna be homework read again the play and answer this Number five, page number five in your practice book. Complete the sentences. The wind space a tree over. Blew a tree over. Excellent. The boy space the ball. Code. Excellent. The children space to school by bus. Went. She a not or space a kitten for her birthday. Got. Correct the sentences you did not. The boy saw a plane. The boy didn't see a plane. The girl hear the cat. Here, the rest of the homework here gonna be homework. Anna bought some new shoes. What did Anna buy? Anna put a new or some new shoes. What did Anna? Hmm. Boy. Bill and Ben went to Australia. Where did Bill and Ben go? Where did Bill and Ben go? The base form of went is go. Okay, the rest of the home of the exercise is gonna be also home. Now, lesson five vocabulary. We have to know some new vocab before starting our session. In this session, we're going to talk about the phonics, which is E sound. The first word here is jockey. Yeah, the horse rider in races. He is the horse rider, rider in haste in races. He or she. Horse rider in races. The American jockey will win. Money? Crazy. I don't have money to buy chocolate. Turkey, which is a kind of birds. 
I don't like to eat turkey. Chimney. Chimney a vibe out of the house of the roof. Vibe out of the roof of to take the smoke out. A vibe out of the roof to take the smoke out. My dad is going to clean the chimney. Honey, I like it. It's very yummy. Bears do love honey. Are you studying at home or even at school? Feel a little stuck and somewhat bored? Well, then stay tuned to my YouTube as I welcome you back to the drawing board. Hi, welcome back to the drawing board. Today, we're going to look at the E sound. So, which letters make E? There are two. E and Y. Together, they make E. Listen carefully for this sound. But don't worry about any names, just the words, as they will help us when we come to practice. Now, let's see what's happening around the world. Here we have a house. Oh dear, the keys are stuck in the lock. So, which word in that clip had the E sound? It was... Keys. Let's practice. Starting with K, E, and S, K, E, S, Keys. Here we have Oakley from Turkey, who needs to count how much money he has. Now, you may have heard money. Let's practice. M. Mm. O. Oh. N. Mm. And E. M. Mm. O. Oh. N. Mm. E. Money! Now over to some bees who are making lots of sweet honey. What could we hear this time? It was honey. So. <sighs> oh. N and E <sighs> oh. N E Honey And last but not least we have a donkey Despite their size they are very strong Now what was our final word? It was donkey. So d o oh. n k and e d o oh. n k e donkey. I hope you enjoyed practicing the E sound today. Perhaps you can think of more words which have this sound. See you next time. Okay, did you enjoy the previous video? Let's watch or let's try to practice this in your language book on page number 13. Moving to the spelling time here. Some words end in E, which makes a sound like E, long E, valley, key, 
turkey, monkey, and jockey. Turkey, monkey, chimney, jockey. Okay, I guess this exercise is really easy for you to answer it by yourself. Moving. Okay, this also gonna be homework number one. What is this picture? Yes, it's very easy. Monkey. So I guess you can answer the following question by yourself. Write sentences using this E word. I need money to buy a new phone. Bees make honey. A donkey is a helpful animal. A donkey is a helpful animal. Moving to the class writing. Write the next scene of the play. The wind is very angry. It wants to try again. The sun says it will try again. The cloud sees the woman wearing a hat. This woman, I guess. What will happen in your scene? Can the wind blow off the woman's hat? Can the sun make the woman take off her hat? So sitting, gonna be in the sky. Character, the sun, the wind, the cloud, and What are characters doing at the start of the scene? The wind is very angry about the previous challenge or test. Cloud would tell them to try a new one. The sun and the wind will try to take off the woman's hat. The wind. Let's try again. I can make the woman take off her hat. The sun. I can do that. The wind. I am going to blow and blow. And take off her hat. The, the woman. It's very windy. I will hold on my hat. The wind. I will blow stronger and stronger. The woman. Oh no. I am. My hat. No. The sun. Wind. You won. So. The wind was the winner in the next scene. Let's see here. In your practice book on page number eight, the man with the heavy coat and a woman with the hat have a conversation. So imagine that this woman and the man with the coat in the previous play, which was in your practice book, the language book, have a conversation. The man tells the woman, hmm, he was walking in the valley. The wind blew very hard. He held on to his coat. The sun shone. He got very hot. He take off his coat. The women tell the man she was walking in the valley. The wind blow, the sun shone. What do you think happened next? Did the wind blow the woman's hat? Did the sun make the woman take off her uh, take her hat off? Write your answers here. Okay, let's try. This will be homework. Our practice book on page number nine. Now we're gonna try to write the scene by uh, in our own words. What does the man say to the woman? The man would say, Today was an unusual day. I was walking down the valley. Suddenly the wind did blow and blow. I held on my coat tightly. Then it began to be hot. It was really hot. So I took off my coat. What does the woman would say to the man? Let's try to write. Yeah, that's funny. The same happened to me today. I was walking down the street wearing my lovely hat. The wind began to blow and blow. I can't hold on my papers or my hat. So here the sun, wind, the test or the competition and here the wind win the competition.